mole is a unit of measurement used in chemistry to express amounts of a chemical substance, defined as the amount of any substance that contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 12 grams of pure carbon-12, the isotope of carbon with relative atomic mass of exactly 12 by definition. This corresponds to the Avogadro constant, which has a value of 6.0221412927A. 1023 elementary entities of the substance. It is one of the base units in the international system of units, and has the unit symbol mol and corresponds with the dimension symbol n. In honor of the unit, some chemists celebrate October 23rd as mol day. The mol is widely used in chemistry instead of units of mass or volume as a convenient way to express amounts of reactants or of products of chemical reactions. For example, the chemical equation 2 hours 2 plus O2 or 2 hours 2 O implies that 2 a mole of dihydrogen and 1 a mole of dioxygen react to form 2 a mole of water. The mole may also be used to express the number of atoms, ions, or other elementary entities in a given sample of any substance. The concentration of a solution is commonly expressed by its molarity, defined as the number of moles of the dissolved substance per liter of solution. The number of molecules in a mole is defined such that the mass of one mole of a substance, expressed in grams, is exactly equal to the substance's mean molecular mass. For example, the mean molecular mass of natural water is about 18.015, so one mole of water is about 18.015 grams. Making use of this equation considerably simplifies many chemical and physical computations. The term gram molecule was formerly used for essentially the same concept. The term gram atom has been used for a related but distinct concept, namely a quantity of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of atoms, whether isolated or combined in molecules. Thus, for example, one mole of MgB2 is one a gram molecule of MgB2 but three a gram atoms of MgB2. Definition and related concepts, as of 2011, the mole is defined by BIPM to be the amount of substance of a system which contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 0.012 kg of carbon-12, the isotope of carbon with relative atomic mass 12. Thus, by definition, one mole of pure 12C has a mass of exactly 12 Ag. It also follows from the definition that X moles of any substance will contain the same number of molecules as X moles of any other substance. The mass per mole of a substance is called its molar mass. Since the standard unit for expressing the mass of molecules or atoms is defined as one twelfth of the mass of a 12c atom, it follows that the molar mass of a substance, measured in grams per mole, is exactly equal to its mean molecular or atomic mass, measured in unified atomic mass units or daltons, which is to say, to the substance's mean molecular or relative atomic mass. The number of elementary entities in a sample of a substance is technically called its amount. Therefore, the mole is a convenient unit for that physical quantity. One can determine the chemical amount of a known substance, in moles, by dividing the sample's mass by the substance's molar mass. Other methods include the use of the molar volume or the measurement of electric charge. The mass of one mole of a substance depends not only on its molecular formula, but also on the proportion of the isotopes of each element present in it. For example, one mole of calcium-40 is 39.962590982 plus or minus 2.2 A, 10 is 7 grams, whereas one mole of calcium-42 is 41.9586180 plus or minus 2.7 A, 10 is 7 grams, and one mole of calcium with the normal isotopic mix is 40.078 plus or minus 0.004 grams. Since the definition of the gram is not mathematically tied to that of the atomic mass unit, the number Na of molecules in a mole must be determined experimentally. The value adopted by CODATA in 2010 is Na equals 6.0221412 9A, 1023A plus or minus 2.7A. 10A, 10 1023. In 2011, the measurement was refined to 6.0221407A, 1023A plus or minus 1.8A, 10A, 10A, 1023. History 
The history of the mole is intertwined with that of molecular mass, atomic mass unit, Avogadro's number and related concepts. The first table of relative atomic mass was published by John Dalton in 1805, based on a system in which the relative atomic mass of hydrogen was defined as 1. These relative atomic masses were based on the stoichiometric proportions of chemical reactions and compounds, a fact that greatly aided their acceptance. It was not necessary for a chemist to subscribe to atomic theory to make practical use of the tables. This would lead to some confusion between atomic masses and equivalent weights, which would last throughout much of the 19th century. Jar paragraph N.S. Jacob Berzelius was instrumental in the determination of relative atomic masses to ever-increasing accuracy. He was also the first chemist to use oxygen as the standard to which other masses were referred. Oxygen is a useful standard, as, unlike hydrogen, it forms compounds with most other elements, especially metals. However, he chose to fix the atomic mass of oxygen as 100, an innovation that did not catch on. Charles Fra copyright da copyright Rick Gerard, Henri Victor Regnault and Stanislaw Canizaro expanded on Berzelius' works, resolving many of the problems of unknown stoichiometry of compounds, and the use of atomic masses attracted a large consensus by the time of the Karlsruhe Congress. The convention had reverted to defining the atomic mass of hydrogen as 1, although at the level of precision of measurements at the time a euro relative uncertainties of around 1% a euro this was numerically equivalent to the later standard of oxygen equals 16. However the chemical convenience of having oxygen as the primary atomic mass standard became ever more evident with advances in analytical chemistry and the need for ever more accurate atomic mass determinations. Developments in mass spectrometry led to the adoption of oxygen-16 as the standard substance, in lieu of natural oxygen. The current definition of the mole, based on carbon-12, was approved during the 1960s. The four different definitions were equivalent to within 1%. The name mole is an 1897 translation of the German unit mole, coined by the chemist Wilhelm Ostwald in 1894 from the German word Moleke one quarter L. However, the related concept of equivalent mass had been in use at least a century earlier. The mole was made the 7th SI base unit in 1971 by the 14th CGPM. The mole is a unit, since its adoption into the international system of units in 1971, there have been a number of criticisms of the concept of the mole as a unit like the meter or the second, the number of molecules etc. in a given lump of material is a fixed dimensionless quantity that can be expressed simply as a number, so does not require its own base unit. The SI thermodynamic mole is irrelevant to analytical chemistry and could cause avoidable costs to advanced economies. The mole is not a true metric unit, rather it is a parametric unit and amount of substance is a parametric base quantity. The SI defines numbers of entities as quantities of dimension 1, and thus ignores the ontological distinction between entities and units of continuous quantities. In chemistry, it has been known since Proust's law of definite proportions that knowledge of the mass of each of the components in a chemical system is not sufficient to define the system. Amount of substance can be described as mass divided by Proust's definite proportions, and contains information that is missing from the measurement of mass alone. As demonstrated by Dalton's law of partial pressures, a measurement of mass is not even necessary to measure the amount of substance. There are many physical relationships between amount of substance and other physical quantities, the most notable one being the ideal gas law. The term mole was first used in a textbook describing these colligative properties. Other units called mole, chemical engineers use the concept extensively, but the unit is rather small for industrial use. For convenience in avoiding conversions, some American engineers adopted the pound mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 lbm of 12 c. 1 lb mole is equal to 453.59237 mole. In the metric system, chemical engineers once used the kilogram mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 kg of 12 c, and often referred to the mole as the gram mole, when dealing with laboratory data. However modern chemical engineering practices to use the kilomole, which is identical to the kilogram mole, but whose name and symbol adopt the SI convention for standard multiples of metric units. 
concentrations expressed as kmol M3 are the same numbers as those in mol per decimeter 3 or molarity conventionally used by chemists for bench measurements, which is convenient for scale up. Proposed future definition In 2011, the 24th meeting of the General Conference on Weights and Measures agreed a plan for a possible revision of the SI base unit definitions on an as yet undetermined date. This plan, set forward in the meeting's first resolution, included a proposal to redefine the mole in a way that will fix a euro with Avogadro constant to be equal to exactly 6.02214 xa, 10.23 when it is expressed in the SI unit mole 1 a euro related units, the SI units for molar concentration are mole per meter 3. However, most chemical literature traditionally uses mole per decimeter 3, or mold 3, which is the same as mole per liter. These traditional units are often denoted by a capital letter M, sometimes preceded by an SI prefix, for example, millimoles per liter or millimolar, micromoles liter or micromolar, or nanomoles L or nanomolar. The unit's holiday, October 23rd is called Mole Day. It is an informal holiday in honor of the unit among chemists. The date is derived from Avogadro's number, which is approximately 6.022a. 10.23. It starts at 6.02 a.m. and ends at 6.02 p.m. See also Notes and references External links, Chem Team, The Origin of the Word Mole at the Wayback Machine